got bandages, band-aids, gloves, uh, deep heat rub if you hurt a muscle. Yeah, that's my first aid kit. Quite a decent kit. Certainly adequate for one person. Let's move these two out of the way. Right, now this one, this bag has got, this one's got a lot of various stuff in it again. There's only two things missing, or I think one thing missing that I'd like to add into this bag now. And that would be some money, but at the minute I haven't got any spare money to put in this bag. Right, this one, this, this you can't buy these, but I made these up myself. It is survival tips from the SS Survival Guide. That I've laminated so they can never get destroyed. You know, water. Metal mirror. Spare belt. Small radio with batteries. Another small radio with batteries and headphones because this one's got a little speaker. A notepad. Some paper there, and inside there is some pens, pencils, and because I've got no money, I thought I'd put some checks in there. I know some of you might laugh at that, but it's better than nothing. Someone in a desperate situation might take a check. <laughs> it's better than nothing. Better than having nothing at all. Some cards to keep you entertained. A little mini compass. A ring that you could give to someone as money if it came down to it. Bit of inner tube for various things. Card tool there with cups on it. A little mirror. Real decent Swiss Army knife. Some tape. A multi-tool. Like a Leatherman multi-tool and a lighter in a case. A torch with batteries but the batteries are in the wrong way around so you can't waste them. And a decent watch. Right, that is in that bag. Yeah, I would I would eventually put money in this bag, put about hundred pounds in there. You do want money in the bag really. You know, because you run out of stuff. Someone might not be quite willing to just give you some water, they might have to pay for it or something or whatever. You know. Money is always helpful. Oh, that's another one. Quite a few more bags in here. I'll try to keep this down to 10 minutes if I can, but I might have to make two parts. This is my pots, cup, flint and steel, parabolic mirror and pot stand. So this is what I'd be cooking with and boiling water in. And here you've got a little frying pan, a bowl, a little saucepan, a cup, and a lid. Alright, so she's cooking utensils. With a lighter. I'll show you the parabolic mirror in a minute. The pot stand with some of the tablets inside that you use to light it. Ray mirror splint of steel. And a parabolic mirror. I may make a video on its own about this. This is for starting fires from the sun. You put a bit of tinder in this piece here and direct it in the sun so that the rays bounce onto it and set it on fire. The only thing I'd advise if you ever use one of these it's advisable to wear sunglasses because you can dazzle yourself and you can really mess your eyes up with these if you accidentally shine it in your eye. You know it'd be like putting a magnifying glass on your eye with the sun shining on it. It's still good though, I'll do a video on that one day showing you how to use those. So that's some more of the stuff. Just the cooking utensils. Canteen there. So I'd have a bottle there, the other bottle and the four bottles of water. Right, this is food. 
This is food and drinks and coffee and tea and stuff like that, which you'll all see in a minute. Quite a lot of stuff in there. Aqua clear, water purification tablets. There's probably enough food in here to last one person for quite a while. Got some tinned food, because remember tinned food lasts for a long, long time. Ignore best before dates. Best before just means it's better to eat it before then, but it doesn't matter afterwards. It's used by dates, you don't want to worry about. So I've got some noodles, cutlery there, knife, fork, spoon and a little spoon. More food, a tub of salt because you always need salt. Oxo cubes and three packets of rice. Coffee, a little mini compass, a tin opener and another tin opener with a bottle opener. And in here is more soup, some little chocolate bars and some coffee and three of these bags that are full of non-dairy creamer, sugar, tea and coffee. But three bags of those. So that's the food. Which I think you agree there's quite a bit of food there for one person. More active clear tabs in there. I think that'll last me a couple of days, wouldn't it? Three or four days. Easy. Maybe more. See, I could thin this bag out if I wanted to. I could take some of the tins out. That would make it lighter. Alright, what else we got? Here is a 20 foot by 15 foot I think it may be 20 foot by 20 foot tarp with the metal eyelets, can't see any at the minute but there's metal eyelets on it so that would be a good shelter that would be big enough to shelter the whole family this is a fishing kit in there is lots of weights, hooks, floats and then you've got these old crab lines which you can use as line to tie your fishing line on. I've got various uh, fishing lines in there as well, different strengths. Alright, and this is the last one. This contains a towel, a shimmer, I think they're called and some socks and underwear and a hat right so that's everything uh, I think the only thing I'm missing which isn't essential is toilet roll I don't personally don't think toilet roll is absolutely essential you know if you're in the woods we've all used leaves before you know right so if you can think of anything I should add or take out, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do and I'll do a new revised version. I've got a new bag coming soon from Maxpedition.com so that'd be great. I may make a smaller version of this with the bag I'm getting. I'll do a review of the bag. Uh, mobile phone. I'll keep a mobile phone in my pocket at all times anyway. So that doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. So let me know. I hope you liked it. See you later.